good morning dear students i think you are all well i am also well during this pandemic time we are in many difficulties but we must know that there may be many difficulties or problems in our life but we must know advance so we must do our duties accordingly as we are discussing the rules of the use of right form of verbs you know there are unlimited rules of using right forms of verbs we have used present form of verb s or es added of present form of verb ing added present form of verb past form of verb past participle form of verb and the use of conditional sentence and now today i will discuss some other important rules of using the right form of verbs you know according to meaning there are five kind of sentence assertive interrogative today this is two these two sentences are in my discussion if we see in a sentence verb is added with not then we must make the sentence negative if we find a sign of interrogation at the end of the sentence we must make it interrogative sentence according to the rules now please notice at the board we not hate the poor she not love you we love our country now we not hate not love and the third sentence sign of interrogation at the end so we not hate the poor the sentence must be negative according to the sub number and person of the subjects and the tense we must use do does or did after the subject so the answer will be we do not hate the poor she you know third person singular number she doesn't love you and now the third sentence you see a, an interrogation at the end so we must use do we love our country so if you want to make the sentence negative we must use don't doesn't or didn't according to the subject and number of the according to the number of the person of the subject and the tense and we should use do does or did at the beginning of the sentence if we want to make it a question i think you have understood and noted the three sentences on the board now it is your turn to solve at least two sentences the first sentence you not la study well you know there is no indication of time so the sentence is in the present indefinite tense we must use do or does or did you as second person so we must use do so the answer is you do not study well 
as the second sentence, he loved his mother. We find sign of integration at the end of the sentence, so we must use do, does, or did as there is no integration of time, so it is in the present indefinite tense, so we must use does as he is the third person singular number. Does he love his mother? So, dear students, uh, if we find a sentence indicates to be negative or a sentence indicates to be interrogative, we must use all these rules. Now, we know we know W is question. What is W is question? If we see WS word at the beginning of a question sentence, then we call it WS question. Now, please discuss why you love her. When You see, there is sign of integration at the end of these sentences and at the beginning why, when, where, all these are WS words. So you must use do, does or did according to the tense and according to the subject term, number and person of the subject between WS word and subjects. So as you is second person, we must use do. Why do you love her? When does he come here? Where do they work? You see, as they, third person but plural, so we have used do. As he, third person singular number, we have used does. As you, second person, we have used do. Now, you may write down all these three sentences with answer. Now, it is your turn to make two answer. How he tell her yesterday what you want. The first sentence you see there is yesterday, so the sentence must be in the first sentence and what do you want? There is no time of indication of time, so it is in the present indicative. So we must use did in the first sentence. How did he tell us yesterday? What do you So, you may write down these sentences, then rule number 3,
Now they are students. Give the see there are three sentences. These sentences starts with every is or on of the. If we find is every or on of the, then the subject takes singular verb after it. Every girl is a singular, so every girl loves flowers. This boy has a phone. One of the girls is Sorry, sister. One of the girls is my sister. So, if we find the subjects start with a G, is, or one of the, then we must use singular verb after the subjects. Now, it is your turn to solve at least two questions. This man work here one of the women help her. So is man singular number as man third person singular singularity we must use S or yes after God. This man works here one of the women helps her. Now you must memorize these three terms is every and on of the for your better use of the right forms of verbs. Number four. Sometimes we see in a complex sentence the subordinate clause starts with lest. Then we must use should or might and be on in this subordinate clause. In these two sentences, you see the subordinate clause starts with less. So, we must use should or might after the subjects and beyond, that is present form of verb. So, he ran fast. Less he might. Miss the bus. He saves money lest he might fall in danger. So, dear students, you see, if we find in a complex sentence subordinate clause starts with lest. We must use should or might and be all in this subordinate clauses. Now it is your turn to solve the problem.
in this two sentence you see he takes exercise lest he be fall ill they followed the order lest they are punished by captain so he takes exercise lest he might be ill they followed the order lest they should be punished by captain dear students you see the last sentence is in the passive voice so we have used should be punished you can write down all these sentences now the next rule sometimes we are in hesitation whether the subject is in plural or singular then the uses of the form of verb may be confused but now it is our turn to memorize that if the subject is connected with preposition with another with another noun or pronoun the first subject is to be considered in this three sentences please notice the starts in the sky the boys in the class the owner of this shops so we must take the starts the boys the owner as starts are plural form so we must use sign the stars in the sky shine at night the boys in the class the boys are plural so we must use are billion the owner of the of this shops visit regularly now we see the owner singular number the boys plural number but the nouns before the verbs the sky the class the shops sky singular class singular shops plural but the verb changes according to their original subjects so we must consider the first subject if it is added with preposition now it is your turn to solve the two question
in this two sentence the color of his eyes the color of his eyes the owner of the factory the color of his eyes you see here the color and the workers so we must use color of his eyes is blue the workers of the factory were very well dear students you notice please the color of his eyes so the original subject is color the workers of the factory their subject is workers so as workers are plural number we have used present form of work so you may write down all these sentences with the answer number 6 we find some indication of future tense in sentences that is tomorrow next day next year next month the coming day etc then the sentence belongs to future indefinite tense number 6 he come home tomorrow Would buy a car next week. They visit America next year. You see, in these three sentences, we have found tomorrow. next week next year all these three words or phrase indicates that these three sentences are in the future indefinite tense so we must use shall or will after subject and he on so he will come home tomorrow we shall buy a car next week they will visit america next year now you see they will visit america next year please write down these sentences Now it is your turn. She help you day after tomorrow. They invite us next week. You see, here is tomorrow, day after tomorrow, next week. So, these two sentences belong to future indefinite tense. We sh should use shall or will after the subject and be on that is present form of her. She will help. you the day after tomorrow
they will invite us next week so if we can define the indication of future indefinite tense we must use shall or will plus be on to use the verb number 7 you know there are some noun as people oh cattle clergy gentry poultry all these nouns seems to be singular but they are actually plural so we must use the plural form of verbs after these subjects you see people love their own country cattle be grazing in the field women folk love their child so people though it seems to be singular but practically or originally the people is plural noun cattle plural noun women folk plural noun so we must use plural form of verb people love their own country cattle are grazing in the field women folk love their child so you can write down these three sentences with answer now it is your turn to answer the clergy pray for the christian people clergy are the people who are religious people and always stay in churches and they pray for the people so plural form the gentry the gentry respect everywhere by people you see clergy as it is singular in form but practically clergy is plural form plural noun and gentry is plural noun so 
the clergy pray for the Christian people. The gentry are respected everywhere by people. I think you have understood the last person. The gentry respect everywhere by people. At last I have used by people. I could not use. I may I might omit this term. But the gentry respect everywhere. You know subject cannot perform the verb. So it is in the passive voice. So we have used the gentry are respected everywhere. Now number eight. There are some nouns which are which seems to be plural, but practically they are singular form. The news news politics physics civics. You see, it, all these nouns seems to be plural as there are S at the end of these nouns. But practically they are singular in number, so we must use singular form of verb. The news B. False. Politics be not liked by general people. Physics be a difficult subject. So, dear student, please notice the board, the news, politics, physics. Simply, it seems to be plural, but practically they are singular. So, we must use singular verb. The news is false. Politics are not liked by general people. Physics is a difficult subject. So, I think you have understood these nouns are originally singular, so, so it seems to be plural. Now it is your turn to answer the true form civics help us to understand politics. His whereabouts <coughs> not to me. You would say civics seems to be plural, but practically it's a subject singular. His whereabouts seems to be plural, but whereabouts means place or location. So Civics helps us to understand politics. His whereabouts is known 
to me. So I think you have write down the sentences I have discussed and I have written on the board and try to understand all these rules at home and we will meet in the next class thank you thank you for watching i thank all the students and all the viewers and my colleagues and my authorities thanks thanks to all and now farewell to you all